What is up, party people? It's Clayton Smith here. You can call me Mongo. A little bit about me. I live in Jackson, Tennessee. I work out at the Jackson Sport and Fitness Gym. Um, former high school, college football athlete. Been working out all my life. Goals for this YouTube channel and for me just to produce good, solid content. Um, maybe help somebody that needs it, whether it's in motivation or fitness or whatever goal they're trying to achieve in their life. If I can help somebody, just like all the other YouTube fitness guys help me get back into shape and put some motivation in me, I'll be happy with it. But tonight we're gonna do a chest and, no, back and try workout. Hopefully I can get some pretty decent footage of it. Right now I'm filming on my iPhone 6 Plus. I don't have a camera yet, so we're gonna try and make it work. Um, hopefully I can save up, get one, make it better. So we're gonna go in and uh, get this workout started. I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, just got done with stretching. Uh, stretching is very important to me, working on my mobility, keeping everything loose. Uh, Back in high school, used to have a guy named Phil Campbell who is well known and he taught it to us. Keep your stretching, keep your mobility, stay flexible. So that's something that I definitely strive myself on is to stay as flexible as possible. Um, I'm gonna film that in a different video, let y'all see part of it or the whole thing. Hadn't decided yet. Usually it takes me around 15, 20 minutes, I'd say. But I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm excited. About starting this YouTube channel uh, makes me feel good taking a small chance at something I'm not comfortable with um, trying to be more social and put myself out there take chances all that kind of stuff so I'm excited I feel good ready to get this workout started um, we're gonna focus mainly on back and have the triceps as my accessory movements so I think first thing I want to start with is been over rows and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's get it started. All right, guys. So on the first one, it's gonna be been over rows. Just warming up, 95 pounds. Just really looking for a good contraction in the back. Nothing too crazy. Um, probably gonna do 12, 15 ish, and then move up to 135, and then I'm gonna say eight to 10. Three to four sets, so we're gonna get the uh, warm up set first. Let's get it. So, on those, I like to go right under the nipple, right in the, right under the nipple, basically. Um, almost keeping the back almost horizontal, standing a little bit up, um, but uh, basically just keeping good form, good technique, that's something I like to do. I'm not the strongest person at all when it comes to anything, so if I can beat that, it'll be with effort and good technique. That's all I'm working towards. Trying to get stronger, stay healthy, and keep moving. So we're gonna get 135, probably four sets of eight, because I'm feeling pretty good. So let's get it. Next movement, it's gonna be first tricep movement. It's basically a overhead dumbbell extension. Uh, going for 10 to 12, probably first one, first warm up is gonna be 65 pounds. And then from there, three, three more sets, eight to 10 reps. So we're gonna get that started. Let's get it.
So moved up to 80 pounds. We're gonna go for eight to 10. So this is a pretty good weight for me. Uh, so I'm feeling good. After probably last two, might go up to 90, 100. So we'll see how this goes. Eighty pounds feel good. Uh, last two sets, we're gonna do nineties. Do eight to ten. Hopefully eight. No, ten. Let's get it. All right, next, I'm gonna do pull-ups. Say five sets, five to eight reps. So just getting a good extension, going full down, all the way down, all the way back up. So let's get it. On my pull-ups, I, uh, I used to do CrossFit and enjoyed CrossFit. There's a lot of stuff I enjoyed about it. The, all the power clean snatches, all that type of stuff. But I'd say, I guess now, I guess I'll be more of a power lifter type. Um, I don't really know that much about power lifting, but just trying to move as much weight as you can, as strong as you can be. Um, so, we can continue these pull ups. Let's get it. Next tricep workout, basically a uh, tricep kickback. I guess that's what you call it. Just keeping it straight, just kicking back the tricep, getting a good contraction in the tricep. We'll start with 20 pounds. Go for 12 each arm, we'll say. So, I really like this one. This is a good one. I'm feeling good contraction in the tricep. Just gotta make sure to keep your Elbow directly next to you, next to your side. You don't want to go too high or too low. You want to keep it directly by your side. So let's get it. Move up to 25 pounds. You really want to try and keep a flat back. You don't want it to be arched or whatever that would be. I don't know what the technical term would be, but you just want to keep it flat, keep it straight. Um, that's going to help keep your elbow directly next to you. Don't have it too high, too low. We're going to move up to 25 pounds. Try and get 12 again. Um, two to three sets of this, and then we'll move to the next back. Next exercise gonna be a lap pull down machine. Got it set at 135. Just a little warm up. Go for 1215. Then we'll move up the weight. Let's get it. Next couple of sets, got it at 180. Go for eight to 10, probably do two to three sets. Getting a good, good feeling, a pretty good pump in the tries, arms. So, let's get it. That was a little heavy. 
Say, I don't do this lap machine very often. So we're gonna stick with 180. I think I got seven on that one. So we'll stick for the same. Next trice up, we're gonna do dips. Uh, shoes in a dip machine, best place for my phone right now is in the middle of the dip machine. That's where this wire is. So, the more I do this, the more I want a camera. I feel like it'd be much easier than using my phone. Uh, so, right here I usually do 12, 15. I'm just gonna do body weight dips on this one, um, do three sets probably. So, getting a good range of motion going all the way down, not doing the quarter dips or whatever you wanna call it. So, that's what it's about, doing it right the first time, not messing up, so you gotta keep going over and over. So, get these dips in, so, let's get it. In the past, I've had a lot of injuries. Um, major injuries. Right knee, two ACL surgeries. Seventh, ninth grade from football. And then various injuries, nose, hand, elbow, other knee. Um, but only surgeries would be the ACLs. When getting out of football and just working out, lately I've had a lot of shoulder weakness and uh, sometimes some pain so every time I work out I do shoulder mobility because shoulders are definitely my weakest area so sometimes on dips or different things that don't specifically target the shoulders I can feel it aggravating my shoulder so I feel a little bit on this but nothing too bad, uh, it doesn't hurt, I'm not injured, I just feel it. Um, but I really enjoy dips, they're very good. Uh, tricep movement, you just gotta make sure to get that full range of motion. Full range of motion is so important. You don't wanna constrict your muscles, you want them to stretch, tear, and then at the end of the night, sleep, your muscles repair on their own and that's how you get stronger basically in dumb terms that's how i put it because i'm not the smartest guy but i should get in here move some stuff and hopefully i'll get strong uh it's worked out for me a little bit but gotta keep going so let's get it If you hadn't noticed, I'm a little OCD when it comes to working out. I uh, always gotta have the same hand placement on a bar, whether it's bench or squat. I'm always tying my shoes, because I like them a certain way. And when I'm wearing shorts, I like to wear them really high. It's not that I don't wanna show my legs or anything, but I got great legs. But I don't like to have constriction on my knees or thighs especially when I'm squatting. When it comes to other stuff, it's just cause it's a habit and I like it, but it makes me feel good. So legs and my quads are something I've really been focusing on, whether it's squats or any leg movement. I've always been told skinny legs, gotta get the tree trunks. So you focus on squats, trying to get bigger quads. But if you see me with short shorts on, because I'm OCD, but finished with dips. We're gonna move to a back movement. Just not sure what it is yet. Kind of going by the seat of my pants. So let's get it. 
Alright, for this, it's basically a row variation, strictly body weight. I'm just gonna go basically two failures, I guess. I'm guessing 10 to 12, but we'll see. Did two sets of I think the first the first I did 12, second one I think I got 11 on the row variation. Back's getting a little fatigued. For the last movement of the night, we're gonna do dumbbell skull crusher basically. I'm gonna start with 20s and probably go about fives. I'm gonna do three sets: 20, 25, 30. Um, 12 to 15. Rep range. Uh, feeling pretty good. Feeling a pretty decent pump, getting a little fatigued though, so it's definitely later than I normally work out. Um, but I uh, felt like I had a pretty good one tonight, so let's get these skull crushers and uh, we head to the house. So let's get it. So, on that first set, triceps had still had a little bit in them. I think I did 18. I'm gonna go for more volume, try and get a good burn. That's something these dumbbell skull crushers are pretty good at burning you out. So, picked up the 25s. We're gonna try to do the same thing, and then last set, we go to the 30s. So, let's get it. So, last set, do the 30s, so, I guess like Steve Cook says, last set, best set, so let's get it, go to the house. Okay, so just got done with the workout. I thought I had a pretty good one. Uh, back and try. I'm feeling it in my tries. I am. That last skull crusher uh, felt good. Good burn, good stretch in the muscles. So overall, had a good one. Tomorrow's your lucky day. Doing legs. So we're going to do squats and. Uh, We'll get it in. But I just want to take a minute to talk about motivation, I guess you could say, why I'm doing this. And I've relatively been in decent shape since playing sports, football, um, since I was a freshman in high school all the way up until I stopped in college. So relatively decent shape. But there was a while where I was getting pretty out of shape um, my heaviest was 250 um, and I was pretty pretty sloppy uh, wasn't my proudest moment um, got lazy not really watching what I was eating um, but I was happy I was living life having kids 
got two boys being with my wife and then uh, somehow you know how it happened um, started watching YouTube and found a dude named Matt Vincent he was the first one is that a Baton Rouge good dude I really enjoy watching him and he's super strong he does the Highland games and he's a top of the world in that sport um, does very well for himself and then from there moved on to the Bear Brothers um, Nick and Preston uh, started watching them and that's when it really started for me motivating me and getting my ass back in the gym and watching what I was eating and started squatting again because once I stopped playing football I swore I was never gonna squat again I freaking hated it and now it's one of my favorite movements I love squatting I'm not great at it I wouldn't even say I'm good at it but I love doing it um, and I, I still watch them and then from there after the Bear Brothers I moved found uh, Christian Guzman and he's probably one of my favorites I really really enjoy watching him content he puts out is always quality it's always very good um, and that's definitely that's one that's a goal for mine for me is being able to work out at the Alpha, Alpha Elite gym um, and being, being able to meet him and work out at that gym and um, maybe being an Alpha Elite workout member part of his group that's definitely a goal of mine but um, don't want to I'm not worried about setting my goals too high if I got a goal that means I'm going to work my ass off to make that goal whoop, drop the camera to make that goal I got to reach it I got to put in the work I got to put in the effort and I got to put out quality content on my YouTube channel and that's what I strive for um, and then from Guzman uh, found Max Tuning I really enjoy him he's, he's really funny um, him and I love when him and Guzman collab I really enjoy their videos and then of course Steve Cook he's one of the top fitness people um, really enjoy watching him of course and uh, from everybody that I've learned I like to take movements that they do in the gym and incorporate them into my workouts um, but for people, if, if anybody watches, I don't know if anybody's even gonna watch these videos, but I'm gonna continue to put them out because it, to tell you the truth, it makes me feel good. It make, gives me something that I look forward to. And just this just being my first video, I'm enjoying it. I like it. It's something different that I've never done before. And uh, if I can just help one person, help them, inspire them, let them see my videos and they can get in the gym and make themselves better, make them a better person, lose a little bit of weight, make them happy. That's good with me, that's a success. Um, but I would say, uh, don't short yourself if you're watching these videos or need something. Set those goals and work your ass off. That's what it's about, that's living life. Work your ass off and just do it. And uh, we're gonna head to the house. I got some new, new protein I never had before. Um, so we're going to do that, go to the house, take a little protein, and uh, go to bed. And I'm off work tomorrow, so we're going to hit legs. I'll see you at the house. Let's get it. All right, guys, so made it home. It's around 11.30, 11.34, and my new product is Ghost Whey Protein. It says it's... 130 calories, 25 grams of protein, and I got the cereal milk flavor. Apparently this stuff is delicious. Macros are like 130 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. That's awesome. And it says there's 26 um, servings in the container, so. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna try it. So, this is really awesome. Ooh, it smells so good. One thing that is really awesome about the Ghost Whey Protein, they put the scoop on top. So you don't have to go digging, get your hand all messy, looking for the scoop in the protein. So, we're gonna do one scoop. 
one scoop. And I normally do water, but I'm, a, I'm feeling frisky. We're gonna do milk. Ah, first reaction. Let's see. Holy crap. That's pretty epic. That's awesome. Hopefully it was taste the same with water. Because I normally don't do it with milk. But <sighs> yeah. Cereal milk. That's pretty awesome. Highly recommend using the ghost and if you watch Christian Guzman or Max Tuning they give you a discount I think it's 20% that's what I used for this and I would definitely be purchase, purchasing this from now on alright guys that's going in the video for the night I appreciate it and uh We'll have leg day tomorrow and another video. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. See you next time.